A lot of guys have tons of anxiety around going up and starting conversations with women. So much anxiety that even when they do go up and say something, they're usually so nervous that it doesn't work out or maybe they're shaking and the girl can tell and they're not putting their best foot forward. And that's why you're not gonna wanna ask her out until you know this. So first, let's talk about what guys are doing wrong. The worst thing you can do when you see a girl you wanna talk to is to hesitate. You see her, you say, oh, you know what, maybe it's not the right time, or you know what, I'm gonna go talk to her in five minutes, 10 minutes, I'll talk to her in an hour, let me just get one or two drinks in me. That's not good, because what's then gonna happen is you're gonna overthink every specific aspect of it. You know, what should I say? What if she thinks this about me? And eventually you're probably not ever gonna do it, or if you do do it again, you're gonna be so nervous that it's not gonna go well. There's always gonna be a million excuses in your head, right? Oh, I need one or two drinks. I, maybe she has a boyfriend. Maybe I'm gonna bother her. All these things that are gonna hold you back from doing it. But I always tell guys this, right? If you knew that your future wife was walking down the street, would her wearing headphones stop you from going up and saying hi? Of course it wouldn't. Don't give yourself an out. Instead, throw yourself into the fire, go make it happen. The second thing guys do wrong when approaching women is they don't own it 100%. So maybe they see the girl walking by and they don't actually fully try to stop her. They just sort of do a half ass like, hey, as she's passing and instead of stopping, she just keeps walking. Or maybe they talk so low when they do approach that she can barely hear them and she doesn't even acknowledge it. Or maybe they do say something to her, but they have no intent behind their words, right? Maybe they just ask for directions and that's it. And they do it in a super platonic way. Maybe they barely even make eye contact. All of this is just gonna lead to her walking by and nothing ever happening, or at the very most, a polite conversation that goes nowhere. The next thing guys do wrong when they approach women is they keep it platonic. They never try to flirt. They never try to tease. They have this sort of invisible filter in their head that holds them back from saying that joke they're thinking about using, or even making that compliment they wanna make, or just being more direct in their interaction, more direct in their conversation. And when guys do this, half the time the girl's wondering, why did this guy come up to me? I mean, she knows why you came up to her. She knows you're doing it because you wanna talk to her, but why aren't you showing it? What is, what is this guy doing? The conversation usually ends in an awkward way where it's a polite goodbye, or if the guy does ask for the number, it doesn't really lead anywhere because there was never more than that platonic communication. The next thing guys do wrong when they approach girls is they're too quick to walk away. So maybe they'll go up and talk to her and at the first sign of awkwardness, they'll walk away like in the first 15, 20 seconds. But what a lot of guys don't understand is that it's almost always gonna be a little bit awkward when you go up and talk to a stranger for the first time. You guys are strangers, you don't know each other yet, you don't know anything about each other, and it's an unexpected interaction. All that is completely okay, it's completely expected for it to be, you know, a little bit uncomfortable at the very beginning, but that doesn't mean you can't work through it and create comfort and, you know, create a good interaction from that. You need to give yourself a little bit of time to break through the awkwardness and have a real conversation. Now, maybe you guys don't have any vibe at all and that's okay, but you can't really tell that in the first 15, 20 seconds. You have to break through that initial period, be okay with sitting in that awkwardness and just see where it goes. Another big mistake guys make when approaching girls is not closing. So they'll go up, they'll have the conversation and then they won't ask for the number, they won't try to get the hangout or the date. They'll just kind of let it slip by unless everything seems exactly perfect, she clearly seems like super into him and there's no doubt in his mind. Part of this is because the guy is afraid of rejection. Part of it is because a lot of times guys aren't used to closing the deal with girls. And then part of it is just, you know, the discomfort of asking for the number. You're putting yourself out there. You're giving her a chance to say no, that's uncomfortable. But what happens when you do this is it causes you to miss out on opportunities with girls who may very well have been interested in hanging out with you again. But because you didn't ask, you never find out. And that girl who could have been your next girlfriend or even a girl you went on two, three, four dates with or a girl you dated for months, you'll never get to find out what could have happened. So how can you avoid these mistakes and approach a girl the right way? Well, number one, you wanna stop hesitating. If you see a girl you wanna to talk to, there should be no question in your mind that you're the type of guy who goes up and does it. Count one, two, three, go for it. Go make it happen. Number two, own it. If you're gonna go up to her, 
talk loudly, make sure you command her attention, make sure that you guys are both stopped and actually having a real conversation. Don't just let it slip. Number three is look for opportunities to flirt. So maybe you can make an assumption about where she's from, tease her about what she's up to, what she's doing that day, and make the interaction a little bit fun and playful. Number four, try to stick with the conversation for at least a minute. At least give yourself a real at bat here and don't just walk away at the first sign of awkwardness. A lot of times what you'll see is you'll be able to break through that awkwardness, have a great conversation, and give yourself the best chance to actually land a date. And then number five, close the deal. So get in the habit every time you go up and talk to a girl of just asking for her number at the end of the interaction. And the way you basically do that is say, hey, listen, anyway, you seem like fun, but I gotta run. Would you wanna hang out sometime? Once she says yes, say, cool, drop your number in my phone, I'll send you a text and we can set it up. And just like that, you should be able to get out there, approach more girls, and give yourself the best chance at landing some more dates. Now, bro, if you wanna be able to get out there and approach girls without feeling all that anxiety and awkwardness, but instead do it nice and confidently, give yourself the best chance at landing a date, we've helped hundreds of guys be able to do exactly that in our Beast Dating Coaching Program. Guys just like this. My dating life was pretty inconsistent. Before I joined the program, it wasn't uh, where I wanted it to be. Now I can get pretty consistent dates. Uh, if I want to go on five dates a week, I can. Uh, obviously, I'm a pretty busy guy, so I, I don't have to do that, nor do I want to. Uh, but it also has made me feel a lot more confident in my ability to approach women in person. Um, and now I'm not... One of the other things that I appreciate about this program is I'm not so afraid to like put myself out there. I've already got a couple of girls that I've been seeing for a while, and I, I kind of like that rotation. Now, if you want our help to do that and get those same types of results, all you gotta do is click the first link in the description or go to beast-coaching.com. You can fill out the quick application and we will talk to you soon. Anyway, bro, I'll see you in the next video. Let's get after it.